Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Just give me a moment. I am going to turn on the light so it can. I have a little bit more light over here. Just give me a moment. Okay. Can you see me? My Can you see me better? Yes, teacher. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Good to see everybody. How are you? I'm fine, you? Not too bad, not too bad. Happy that um, we're almost done the week and uh, the, um, uh, the weekend is just around the corner. So I'm happy about that. Okay, <laughs> how's everybody? How, how has your week been? Everybody good? Yes. All good, thanks. It's okay. How was your day, teacher? It was good. I had a good day. I, I can't complain. It was nice. It was nice. Yeah. Okay, well, class, um, first of all, before we begin, um, actually, no, maybe I'm going to wait until most people are here in the class. Then I'll tell you a little bit. Okay, so um, the exercise that I sent... Uh, in the WhatsApp group was an exercise that I wanted you to do so that you could have a little bit of practice there with the um, the 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 use of two and enough okay that's the idea um, okay so the the idea with this is that you are able to use to and enough without any problems right so um and if you notice on online it already gives you the the grade so that's the the really good part about this um uh, of this um thing that that i saw that i sent you these exercises that i gave that i sent you that uh you are able to obtain the grade right right away so um i i hope everybody was able to um, get some practice. Anybody was having problems with these exercises? No, teacher. No, no teacher. In my case, I don't have problem. So do I, teacher. Okay, good. Um, how did you feel with these, like, did you like being able to, um, to complete them and getting the grades right away? Was that something that you liked? Yes, I like very much is because it's very interactive. And I like the, in the beginning to the explanation, um, is very, Interesting because I I really think in one in some in some one sentence is too much too many and the, the I like very much to the retroalimentation for the exercise because I I I can uh, find my errors and is very interesting because it's muy uh, is very grateful for me is for improve to me in the use the new language. Excellent, okay. I'm glad that you felt that way, Elena. Um, yes, very good. Yeah, I, um, the idea is also giving you that feedback, right? That feedback um, so that you are able to identify what problems you have and what you need to work on. I, I told you, I think it was yesterday, was it? Um, that, you know, making mistakes is part of the process of learning. So you don't have to be perfect, right? So, um, you know, you've made, you made mistakes, that's okay. That's all right, that's not a problem. Um, as long as you're, you you got a, a you know, a, a reasonably high grade, I mean, um, then, and, and um, that means that you are improving and you're understanding it. Now, if you get a very low grade, then yes, I, I, would, I would start 
working and in, in, in finding more information about it and you can ask me you can ask me questions about it now don't don't you know the whatsapp group is not just to ask questions about the platform it's also to ask questions in general about about english you know if there's a certain topic that you don't understand you can go ahead and ask it right so that's what we're here for okay Okay, just uh, uh, before, I, before I continue, since I have the majority of the people here, let me just uh, remind you a few things, okay? The first thing I want to remind you is that you need to work on the platform, okay? And not only do you need to work on it, you have to complete it and have a minimum of 80%, okay? So let me remind that rem remind you again. You need to work on the platform and get a minimum of 80%. Now, we are pretty much, we, you should be in section three. That's where you should be at this moment. If you are not in section three, you need to speed it up, okay? You need to go a little bit faster. This weekend, I need you to catch up. I don't want to have anybody at the end of the course going, Teacher, I'm still in section one or section two because then you're not going to be able to complete it successfully. And the thing is that um, I explained this to the first day of class, but there were some people that for whatever reason were not in the first day of class and um, or forgot or didn't hear it at that moment, whatever. But it's very, very important that we, we complete it because if we don't have 80% or more, then we will not be able to go to the next level, right? Um, and not only are you not able to go to the next level, what is worse is that you are going to lose the scholarship, okay? Um, I'm going to say this in Spanish very quickly. Acuérdense que estas son becas. Son becas las que les han, les han dando. Eh, y ustedes aplican para estas becas. Pero para que se les dé esa beca, pues cual, todas las instituciones que dan becas um, tienen un mínimo requisito, ¿verdad? Para poder eh, mantener una beca. Entonces lo mismo, en esa forma hace lo mismo. Eh, pide un mínimo ahí, para poder, un requisito para poder mantener la beca. Y en ese caso el requisito es poder um, eh, tener mínimo de 80% en la plataforma y de poder solicitar o mucho de poder presentar todos los documentos que se solicitan. And speaking of the documents, you have already received the information for the next level, right? Everybody has received it? Yes, teacher, I yes, have teacher. a question. Uh, I have a question about about that. Uh, okay. The next the next model, uh, model is the intermediate uh, model uh, two. It's okay. Yeah, that's correct. It would be intermediate model two. That's right. Module okay. Two. That's correct. Thank you. And, and sure, I have a question. For yeah. what day is the intermediate date? Uh, for what date? is the intermediate you mean what day are we going to start the next class the the next module eh, mi pregunta es cuán hasta qué fecha tenemos para hacer el in, los exámenes de intermedio los que van después de la unidad 3 si no me equivoco ok eh... Para, para estar completamente clara a lo que se refiere, ¿está hablando usted de, de, de los ejercicios en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. De los exámenes del intermedio. El midterm, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, the midterm should be finished this weekend. So, the next week on Monday, we will start section four. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So actually, we're going to be looking at the midterm a little bit today. Um, and I want to make sure that everybody understands things. But yes, 
we you should the the idea is that you are finished units uh, sorry section three and the midterm by monday that's the ideal thing that you have now the whole course the complete course needs to be finished by the last day of class which should be let me see let me see just give me a moment um the 18th so february the 18th we should be finishing the course and the the idea is to not stop and continue on the the next week on monday the 22nd continue with the with the module however it's also going to depend on everybody cooperating and sending the documents on time if you do not send the documents in time we will not be able to start with the course um, on Monday so that's why you need everybody needs to um, send the documents when we're supposed to send it okay everybody has the information um, and it's different for everybody right um, some people are going to be asking certain things, some other people, it depends, there are different reasons why they ask you for different things. But you have to follow what they ask you. So I'm going to say this in Spanish, so there's absolutely no problems and no, um, no questions about it. Se les ha mandado la información de la documentación que cada uno tiene que presentar. Por favor presenten exactamente eso lo que le están pidiendo. Okay. No presenten otra cosa, ni más ni menos. Exactamente lo que se les está pidiendo. Okay. Es, acuérdense que esta es una solicitud completamente nueva. O sea, cada módulo es una solicitud nueva. Tienen que presentar todo nuevo nuevamente. Okay. Entonces, y háganlo el día. O sea, si es posible, háganlo antes de la fecha. No esperen hasta el último día porque después algo pasa, no se puede mandar o le dicen, mire, fíjese que todavía me falta tal cosa suya y entonces ahí está que como ya es el último día, ya no tenemos tiempo y nos quedamos afuera. Entonces, eh, por, de preferencia, hagan eso temprano para que o sea, así puedan, puedan eh, tener ahí el... Um, la garantía es que todos los documentos se van a presentar a la hora que tiene que ser. Ahora, presentar los documentos no es una garantía que usted va a ir al próximo curso. Acuérdese que la, está el otro requisito, que es que complete la plataforma y que obtenga un 80%. Entonces, si usted no, no o sea, usted metió todos los papeles, excelente, lo hace el día que debe ser, excelente, pero usted no completa la plataforma, Sorry, no se va a poder. Igual, si usted mete los documentos, completa la plataforma, pero solo tiene un 75, tampoco. No se va a poder pasar al próximo nivel. Entonces, tienen que llenarse esos tres requisitos. Meter los, todos los documentos a tiempo, completar la plataforma y eh, obtener un 80%. Esos son los requisitos, ¿ok? ¿Alguna preguntita? No teacher. No teacher, it's clear. No teacher. Clear teacher. Ok, good. Eh, le, ah, okay. O sea, estoy haciendo énfasis en eso porque eh, no, o sea, no quiero que se me queden, ¿verdad? O sea, yo quiero que todos aquí los que están conectados puedan seguir para el próximo módulo, ¿verdad? Eh, si es posible, ¿verdad? Si es, si es, la, si es sus, eh, la, la lo que ustedes deseen hacer, ¿verdad? Por supuesto, pero eh, de preferencia quisiera que todos pudieran pasar, pero para que eso, o sea, de eso, eso va a depender de usted, de que usted complete las cosas a, a tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm, por favor, no se atengan a decir, ah, pero es que todavía tengo dos semanas para hacerlo. No, o sea, métale con, métale con todo, como dicen, ¿ok? Okay, so anyways, having said that, everybody, um, what we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to start by, um, we're, we're going to be talking a little bit about the, the what we're going to be doing in this course. So, sorry, in this class. So today, we're going to be learning how to be able to talk about our houses 
or better said houses and apartments who lives okay by show of hands i want you to um everybody knows how to raise your hands you know how to raise your hands but not like virtually like on on zoom everybody knows how to how to do that do you know how to do that yes in more okay good elena knows how to do it everybody okay well, i want to see that everybody can knows how to um raise their hand on the on the zoom platform Okay, five people know how to do it. Let's see who else. Okay, all right. Jenny, is the that one is a clap. The, the one that you just put is a clap. That, that's in reactions. But raising your hand is where you where it says participantes or participants. I don't know if you have it in English or in Spanish. You have to go to where it says participants or participantes. And then over it, in that, in that um, place, it says to raise your hand. Okay, Teacher, so, in the yeah. version of the of Zoom, in the reacts is the uh, raise your hand. Oh, okay, okay. So in some in some versions it may be different. Okay, so in the reaction it says raise your if it says raise your hand, then you can do, do that one as well. Okay, good. All right, so unraise your hand, or better said, lower your hand, lower your hand. So, uh, lower your hand, so, eh, bajen la mano. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, I'm going to do a little bit of a, um, let's say, uh, a survey, okay? I wanna see how many people in this class live in a house how many of you live in a house raise your hand if you live in a house okay so there, there are lots of people that live in a house like half of you live in a house let's see one don't Don't stop raising your hand. Keep it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of you live. Okay. And Glenda as well. Okay. 14 of you. Excellent. Okay. Good. Now, um, lower your hand. How many of you live in, a, in an apartment? Only one person lives in an apartment? No, nobody else lives in apartments? Just Maximiliano. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, good. Now, question. Do you think it's better to live in an apartment or a house? Do you think it's... It, do you think there are more advantages to live in an apartment or live in or is there more are there more advantages to live in, in a house what do you think in general just open up your microphone and tell me what i do you think, think teacher is better to live in a house because it's a in a house there is a big a big place for do different activities okay all right Good, thank you, Roxana. All right, what about the rest of you? What do you think? For me, it's better to, to live in a house because uh, to have a house is, is better than rent an apartment. But why? Um, I, um, because if you have your own house, uh, it's a great opportunity, but many people don't have 
don't have the same opportunity. Uh, if not that they they have the opportunity to rent. Okay. O, o como decir, no tienen otra... Um, option. Option. Okay, but you can buy an apartment too. Like you don't, like you don't, you don't have to like a rent an apartment. You can buy an apartment. Okay. I I think it's better to live in a house because in a house you are living in the air, uh, something like that. In an apartment you live in the air, <laughs> and, and you live in a house. You can plan one tree, for example. Um, but there is some complicated, for example, people like the US, they living in apartment, yeah? Or, or that's another case that people live in a country, but in our, our country, uh, for the best for me is live in a house. For, for me, for a plan, one tree. Thank you. All right, mm -hmm. great, thanks, Maximiliano. Good, okay. All right, see, Teacher. yeah. I, I think it depends for the situation of the person because uh, when uh, the person live alone is better apartment because it's um, for a small practice, etc. But uh, generally in the Latin culture, we live with a family or a big family. And in this case, we prefer to live in a house is uh, something like culture, like because in the uh, Spain, the person live in apartments, yeah? But in, in this country, when the help quirk, living in an apartment is a risk because the, the building is down with the help quirk is uh, uh, the person lose the home in the house is not, Maybe it's not ton, ton, it's no very critical in this sense, but I think it depends on the person. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Elena. Thanks for your opinion. Um, so for you, it, it depends on the situation of each person. Okay, sounds good. All right, what about the rest of you? What do you say? Any, one more comment? I can say with uh, Elena. Because uh, when uh, we live alone, it's very apartment because it's practical and clean and it's face. But when when I, I when have family, big family, is better the the house. Okay, okay, very good. And that's actually what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to be um, learning how to compare. Okay, and that's, that's what we're going to learn at, at this moment. Um, yesterday, we learned a little bit about how to talk about um, a, using to and enough. For example, we can say um, that a, it's better to live in a house because um, it's a, it's a it's big enough for a family, a big family to live in, right? So we can say an apartment um, is big, sorry, a, a house is big enough for a big family to live in, okay? Big enough, right? So you're saying that this, or, or we can say that it's spacious enough for a family, a big family to live, okay? Do you understand spacious? Yes, it's a uh, meaning, uh, I suppose, espacioso. <laughs> yeah, exactly, espacioso, right? So we can say it's big enough um, or, be, or spacious enough to live in. But we can say, for example, um, an apartment is, um, oh, no, or we can say, for example, um, it's a, a house is too unsafe for
for someone to live alone in. A house is too unsafe for someone to live alone in. So like like um and so you like you mentioned before, if a person is living by themselves, a uh, living in a house might be a little bit dangerous. Right? Especially in a, like a country like in El Salvador. Right? It's a little bit dangerous. But if you live in an apartment, it's probably a little safer, right? Especially um, if you're talking about uh, a to an apartment with a lobby and things like that, right? Where it's like very closed and only certain people can get into the apartment, right? So then it's safer for the, um, the person that lives alone to live in an apartment than to live in a, in a house. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I hope so. So now what we're going to do, we're going to be learning how to compare. Okay, so let me, um, let me share with you my Word document and you tell me when you can see the Word document. Let me know uh, when it's available to see. I can see. I can see the show. I can see the show. Okay, great. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about comparing, okay? And we're going to be comparing with, um, with adjectives and nouns, okay? So that's, that's the idea here, to compare with adjectives and nouns, okay? So just give me one second here while I uh, start getting this prepared because it doesn't seem to want to be cooperating with me. Okay, so we're gonna be comparing with adjectives and nouns, okay? So first of all, the first thing we can do, um, well, I'm gonna give you some ex some examples there so you can see how it's done, okay? So let's do that. So I'm going to start by, oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted. Um, oh my goodness, sorry about that. Okay, so, so let me show you, for example, we have, uh, we can say, um, let's say, uh, houses, houses, uh, okay, hold on, houses, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Let's start with apartments better set. Okay. If we're comparing, we can say... Oh, I'm sorry. It's doing funny things. Just give me one second. Okay, here we are. Okay. Okay, so let's start with that one. Apartments can be as expensive as houses. So sometimes you think that maybe a house is going to be very, very expensive. And no, it actually houses, some houses can be very cheap and other apartments can be very expensive. So we can, when we're saying this, um, when, when you say this, it means that they are the same, okay? So when you say, can be as expensive as houses you're saying that there it's the same expenses for both both apartments and houses so what we are comparing here are the apartments okay we're comparing this the apartments together with the houses okay that's the thing the two things that we're comparing now how do you do that we do it by using the in this case the adjective expensive okay so that's how we're going to do it by using the adjective expensive all right so i'm going to put that in in purple so that it's clear for everybody that that's what we are we are um we are what's it called um we are comparing okay um i'll give you another one we can say Okay, so we can also say houses are as warm as apartments. And what I mean by warm, I'm not talking about temperature, okay? I'm talking about um, talking about feeling like comfortable in that place, okay? So um, like when you say in Spanish, calido, right? Okay, so houses are as warm as apartments. Okay, so usually apartments we can say that they're very warm, son lugares muy cálidos, verdad? En el sentido de que lo hacen sentirse uno eh, como um, muy en casa. So houses are as warm as apartments. So we're we're comparing them and saying that they are the same. Okay, um, so here again we're we're comparing um, we're comparing the houses, the house together with the let's see we're comparing the house together with um, the apartment okay 
Um, so what I want you to notice is the structure that we're using for this, okay? Um, so in this one, we are using, um, so we can, oh, well, actually, I'm, um, yeah, I'm going to um, give you the structure in this moment. So what do you notice? What is the structure that we're going to be using? First, a subject. The verb. Okay, we have the subject. Very good. What what goes after? The to be. The verb to be. Very good. We're going to be using the verb to be. Now, Plus comparison. I, I did this on purpose. I did it on purpose because if you notice over here, the verb to be it ha has been expressed in different ways. The first one was expressed with a model, right? Can be, okay? And in this one, it's expressed in the simple present. So the verb to be can be in any form. It can be the simple present, simple past, past perfect, past progressive. It can be in the uh, mod with models with plus B. It can be in any form you want, it, okay? Now, um, after that, what comes after that? Competition word as. The adjectives. So the first thing that comes is the word as, okay? So if you notice, we're going to be using the word as, it's right there, okay? Okay, so what, when we say as, the word as tells us that it's the same, okay? That's what we're, we're, we're expressing with the word as. It's talking that it's the same, okay? Um, so, so, can, so permits can be as, and then what, what goes after as? Compare, comparison, plus adjective, adjective, adjective. Very good. Comparative. Mami, agrego la soy la siete en el grupo. Sí, por. Okay, and it's very important for you to, to, to realize that it is the adjective and not the comparative. Because if this was the comparative, we would have to say, um, permits can be as more expensive, right? That's the, the comparative, right? But it's not the comparative. It's just the adjective, okay? So that's something that you have to be careful about so that you don't get confused. After the adjective, what comes? As again. Noun. A noun. Very good. We put the word as once again. Okay. All right. Okay. And this, um, and then after that, what comes after that? The noun. Very good. In this case, the house, right? The house is a noun, right? Okay, now I want you to notice it's the same thing here, okay? Um, I'm just going to change this over here. It's just going to be the same. It's not, notice that warm is the uh, the adjective and not the, um, the comparative. Because if it was the comparative, then in that case, we would have to say warmer, right? Houses are as warmer, but it's not as warmer, it's just as warm. Does that make sense? Repeat, please. Okay, so um, here we are going to be, okay, so this is, this is a sentence now. However, I wanted to also tell you that we can use the word 
there's another word that we can use, which means, which is like emphasizing more. And the word is just, okay? So the word just, how, how would you describe the word just in Spanish? Justo o exacto. Solo. Solo. Justamente. Okay. Yes, it has those meanings, but in different contexts, okay? So in different contexts, yes, it could be just, it could be like justo. But in this context, do you know what the meaning is? Casi tan. Exactly, yeah. Casi tan. Oh, well, actually, no, not casi tan. It's tan. It's just simply tan. Okay? So it's like saying, las casas, la cas las casas son um, tan eh, cálidas como los apartamentos. Okay? So you're just saying that they're exactly the same. Okay? So the, the word just gives it more like an emphasis. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So that's one way that we can um, we can um, compare. That's using. That's actually using. Um, if you notice, we're using adjectives, right? Okay. This one is. Remember, this is comparing with adjectives and noun. Now we're going to be looking at comparing with nouns. Okay. And I'm going to give you another other sentences here that are going to help us to compare with nouns. Okay, um, so I'm going to give you Houses are as convenient as apartments. Yes, that's true. That's that's a good sentence. But convenient is actually not noun. Uh, convenient is actually what is convenient? A noun or what? Adjective. What is it? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, in this case we would have to be putting over here for example we can put uh, houses are just as convenient we can put okay are con just as convenient oops sorry about that let's Okay, so we can say that houses are just as convenient as apartments, okay? So this is using adjectives, okay? But what I want to do now is talk about nouns, okay? So for example, we can say...
Okay, there you go. So we need as much light in a house as in, as in an apartment. Okay. Um, so here, if you notice, we are comparing, in this case, the light, the amount of light that is necessary. Okay. Does that make sense? Could you repeat that? Here we are comparing the amount of light that we need in a house with the amount of light that we need in an apartment. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. It's clear, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm going to give you another one. Okay, all right, so we can also say houses can have as many rooms as an apartment. Or let me just actually eliminate the and and put as apartments. Okay, we're going to make this plural because we're talking about houses in plural, so we're going to keep use also apartments as plural. Okay, so in this case, we're saying that we're, we're comparing the amount of rooms in a house with the amount of rooms in an apartment. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. I have an example. Great, okay, share it with us. Mm -hmm. Apartment can be as, as expensive as houses. Okay, yes, very good. Now. However, expensive, again, this falls under the adjectives. So this would be this, uh, this would be a very good sentence for this okay. category. Mm -hmm. um, can be apartment, it can be a, um, uh, luxury as houses. Mm -hmm. Apartment can be as luxury as houses. True, yes, but once again, uh, lu luxurious, um, luxurious is um, something that um, we, it's, a, it's an adjective, and here we're concentrating on a noun, okay? So let's, let's analyze this so you understand it a little bit better, okay? So let's see what, what is the structure that we need to use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do um, to begin with... Um, with uh, the structure here is, what do we start with? What do we need? A subject first. Very good, yeah, exactly. We're gonna need the subject first, okay? So, we're gonna put subject, all right? And in this case, I'm going to actually try to highlight there the subjects that we're talking about. Can be. Okay. In this case, we're in this one is going to be we. Okay. In this one, where it's going to be houses. Okay. All right. So that's the first thing. Okay. All right. And then after that, what do we what do we use after after the subject? B. Do you see B in these ones? Baseball. Bear. 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 
Exactly, it's gonna be the verb. And if you notice, the verb is going to be, um, it's gonna be different for for each one. Um, like, it doesn't, it can be in any form, any verb, okay? So this one, we're using the simple present. This one, we're using the model plus the verb. So it can be in any form and it can be any, any verb, okay? What goes after? Oh, well, wait a sec, just give me a second before before anything, let me highlight it here. Um, uh, just give me one second. Okay, so this one, the verb is need, and this one, the verb is have, can have, sorry. Okay, after that, what comes after that? Uh -huh. Of course, yes, we're going to be using the word as, okay? All right. Let's change this. Let's, let's um, highlight that. As. And this one as well, as. Okay. And what goes after that? What do you notice? Adjective plus adjective. Can you say an adjective? Uh, is the adverb a quantification? Now? Now? Yeah, we use a um, quantifier here, okay? So the quantifier is either going to be much, right? And if you notice, light is a noun. But what kind of noun is it? Well, it's actually what we call a count noun. Okay, so, sorry, a non-count noun, because we can't count light. It's not possible to count light. So we're, gonna, we're either going to say much. Or many. Uh, much the second. plus. It's either going to be much plus the non-count. Okay, non-count. Oops, non-count. Um. Okay, or it's either gonna so it's going it's either gonna be a much plus a non count noun, or it can also be much. Sorry, it could also be many plus a count noun. Okay, and be also many plus a count noun. Okay, like in the case of rooms, notice we can, we can count rooms, it's possible to count rooms. Okay, all right, does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um, so it's so remember, it's either going to be um, subject. Sorry, it's either going to be much plus a non-count noun, or many plus a non-count as uh, so far plus a count noun. Okay, one of the two. Now, uh, after that, what goes after that? As. That's right. We're going to be using the word as, right? If you notice, oh, actually, let me. Let me change. Okay, so this is. Okay, and then after that, we're going to be using the word as. Okay. And what comes after that? Adjective. Uh, 
in an apartment, apartments th are those adjectives? Sorry, noun. Noun. Exactly, it's a noun, okay? We're, we're gonna be using a, a noun, okay? Um, okay, so in this case, in an apartment, um, the word in in on is, is just part of the part of it okay so this is um this is it okay does that make sense any questions about this Not teacher. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you can see it a little bit. So this is what we have learned so far in today's class. We have learned to compare. Uh, we have learned to compare the adjectives and nouns. Oh, uh, sorry. I should actually... I should change this color. I should change it to the purple because that's what we're... Um, no. This, is, this should be in purple. Okay, because this is the thing that we're comparing. We're comparing the amount of light. Okay, so I'm going to change it so that it's a little bit clearer for you. Okay, that's what we're comparing. In this one, we're comparing the adjectives. And in this one, we're comparing the nouns, which can either be a non-count noun, like in light. And in this one, we are comparing rooms, which is count. Okay. All right. So that's what we have learned today. Any questions at this moment? No. No, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to stop sharing at this moment. Okay. So, um, so far, guys, um, we we have learned um, enough information for you to be able to complete the fine the the midterm. Uh, well, you you should be able to complete uh, almost all of section three. Well, all of section one, all of section two, and almost all of section three, and the midterm. Any qu Sorry, yes, the midterm. Any questions about the midterm? Anything that you want to ask me um, about the midterm? No, teacher. So are all parts of the midterm are finished and or or you at least you can see it and understand it. So remember in the midterm, you're going to be looking at um, the midterm covers. Um, let me see, just give me a second. It covers, well, there's a listening section and it also covers the simple past, okay? So there's a review of the simple past. There's also the indirect questions, okay? If somebody remembers that, the indirect questions, okay? So far so good, everything is clear about that. Yes. It's clear, teacher, I already completed. Excellent. Something else that, that yes, is included in the midterm is the used to. Okay. So remember, we're going to be looking at simple past, the used to, and indirect questions. Those are the three topics of grammar that are going to be covered in the midterm. Okay. 
Any questions about those three topics? Okay. All right, guys, in that case, remember, I need you to complete uh, uh, the sections one, two, and three, and the midterm by Monday, okay? So let's, uh, let's aim for that, and we'll be checking on Monday to see how you're doing, okay? So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys for connecting. Thank you for being with us, and for, um, you know, being a from the very beginning of the class. Remember, tomorrow, no class, okay? Um, so use the time tomorrow. So remember, you, you, you normally have classes from eight to nine. So use the time tomorrow from eight to nine to complete the, the, the platform, right? Work on the platform, and that way you don't have to worry about it on the weekend, okay? So that's it, guys. Take care. See you to, uh, Monday, okay? Have a wonderful weekend. Thank, Thank you, you teacher. Good How are you? Bye. 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 Bye.